the second portion of the chapter in which we will understand little bit about what are the advantages and disadvantages of synthetic fiber synthetic material synthetic materials are the man made materials with the use of man made materials there has been uh, there has been a advantage also but there are more disadvantages most of the materials which are used by the industries are synthetic and they are made uh, from natural cellulose only rayon is the fiber which is uh, made from which is not included under synthetic as it is called regenerated fiber so one of the synthetic fiber which is a revolution and a problem is plastic all of us talk about plastic and the poly uh, polymeric materials which have the capability of being molded why is plastic more uh, mostly used because these are the properties you can change its shape and by applying heat and pressure they are used in all areas and you know they are used which areas tough it is tough also it is lightweight also it is not affected by chemical it is used in insulating so many areas plastic is used so this is the synthetic material which is considered to be a revolution of the 21st century and there are two types of plastic hard and soft in uh, scientific words they are called the thermoplastic and thermoset plastic the hard plastics are used to make covers of camera which do not uh, lose their shape and soft plastics are used to make threads like rayon nylon and all so both of them have their own benefits and uh, properties so this is one of the synthetic material celluloid was the first plastic to be discovered this may be asked at the end of this uh, explanation in one of the question celluloid was the first plastic and it was it has led to land pollution because plastic you know does not uh, decompose so it creates problem then paint decorative and protective coating commonly applied to rigid surface as a liquid consisting of pigment now this is the definition of paint paint is also synthetic because it is made from uh, commonly applied to rigid surface whenever you paint what are you doing you are applying a liquid which contains pigments or colors and these colors are mixed with a binder called paint when this is spread over a solid surface a thin layer is formed which protects the uh, which protects the surface the 20th century saw important developments in paint a new understanding of the chemistry and physics of paint and coating material and therefore oil paints and many types of paints were invented these days you hear about plastic paint synthetic paint acrylic paint they are all synthetic materials they have advantage as well as they have disadvantage so here we will see that oil paints are colored powder how do you make oil paints the oil paints are made uh, by mixing the oil uh, and powder and then blending them with only drops of oil or resin in water there is a difference between true color paints and dyes true color paints and dyes dyes are employed to color paper now dye does not mean the dye which is used in the hair dye means any color of colors are used to color the paper to color leather to color plastic to color textiles and so many ways most of the dyes are carbon the powder the dyes used for fabric and synthetic dyes are non biodegradable they are they cannot be decomposed by bacteria therefore they cause problem for the environment the color or paint is not harmful but the method used is harmful because if you are using these colors they are made from earth so they will not harm the environment but the process of making them makes the paint harmful 
all the residues that is the waste of the dye production are discharged in the water bodies whenever paint is made lot of waste is thrown in the body so this is one of the bad effect of the modern lifestyle that is waste is produced which disturbs the natural surroundings and the most dangerous paints are lead paints lead paints uh, they are considered poisonous buildings have lead paints they are clear threat to the society lead paint mean they look like uh, almost silver and it is lead poisonous any kind of exposure to lead is dangerous if lead is being uh, earlier lead was used in petrol also but now it is replaced because it was found it is poisonous for the human health another synthetic material is the detergent so they are the substances this is definition of a detergent the substance which when dissolved in water possesses the ability to remove dirt so why are detergents synthetic because they are not uh, natural soaps they are chemicals which are dissolved in water and then they can clean the clothes and they are not only used for cleaning clothes but are used to clean skin textile and other solids the word detergent means any substance that will clean things the first detergent was soap which was natural but the problem with soap was that it would work only in uh, only in soft water it will not work in hard water the water which is naturally found sulfated castor oil still used in textile is also considered for synthetic detergents are used as emulsifiers and they are made from petroleum and natural fat so if petroleum finishes then the detergents will also be finished you are making those chemicals from petroleum during the making of petroleum there are some waste which are left and they are used to make detergents we use detergent for washing and for washing we uh, dissolve them in water from our homes this polluted water reaches rivers and oceans which have bad effect on the growth so this is uh, the detergent are one of the synthetic material here there is an example of a refrigerator given what is a refrigerator and air conditioner they are used for cooling they are refrigerants what are they harmful what makes them harmful chlorofluoro you must have heard about cfcs the chlorofluorocarbons and hydrofluorocarbons cfc and hfc these are the chemicals which are used in the refrigerant what is why are they used because they uh, they are put under high pressure and they lower the temperature so if, if this is passed in any surface it will absorb all the heat these refrigerants are a major threat now normally these days if you see the refrigerators do not contain do not use this they have started using nitrogen and other gases but here we are reading that cfcs which are used in the ac and refrigerator they are poisonous but they have no color so refrigerants are a threat to the ozone layer scientists are working to discover alternate refrigeration and the best basic purpose of a refrigerator is to keep things cool because when the thing is kept cool then the bacteria do not affect and the average temperature inside the fridge is 2 to 7 degrees Uh, it has a special gas this gas is the freon gas or the fluorine fluorine gas and which is changed into a liquid and this liquid like at the in the refrigerator you must have seen that at the back of the refrigerator there is a black structure so all the heat which is inside if you keep any material inside it will have high temperature so there is a gas which is brought inside from the back and there are pipes on the boundary of the refrigerator so this gas when it comes it changes it, it moves around but it absorbs the heat side by side it absorbs the heat of the material inside 
and the fridge becomes cool but in this process there is a gas which is compressed if there is a leakage of this gas then the it directly goes in the atmosphere and mixes with ozone this liquid is converted into gas but if there is a leakage of this it will cause harm to the environment there are some advantage and some disadvantage of synthetic material the fiber obtained from natural cellulose are easily regenerated synthetic fibers are made from chemicals they are heat and moisture resistant they are also used in the making of bulletproof jacket hmm. but the disadvantage of the reckless cutting down of tree and clearance of forest in order to obtain cellulose and this causes environment balance so in this chapter we have studied that the different resources are synthetic they have advantage and they have disadvantage in the end refrigerator was discussed with this the chapter explanation is clear you can uh, play this video and understand the points which i am describing you don't have to read the book but just hear and you will be able to remember the thing fast so let's quickly come to the exercise part some of the things which i have described in the explanation are coming here air and dash are important for the dash of humans on this earth so what is important air and water are essential for the dash of humans survival of humans on this earth we need air and water then this produces most of electricity and is also a fossil fuel so what is used to produce electricity coal coal is burnt it produces most of the fossil fuel then two things which are uh, dash are called fibers as cellulose is not synthetic which fibers are called dash as cellulose is not synthetic rayon is called regenerated fiber as cellulose is not synthesized so it is rayon is called synthetic fiber a uh, regenerated fiber so rayon is called regenerated fiber we read this in the chapter so here it will be rayon is called regenerated fiber this is given in the chapter in the beginning where the synthetic fiber started and uh, here it is given in the advantages and disadvantages so you just have to write the names dash was the first plastic which was discovered in dash we named the material which was the first plastic so which was the first plastic which was made so what are the plastic which plastic was made first or which synthetic fiber was made first so we read that cellulose and everything was made first and these are the materials 19th century cellulose they were derived from the material and they it is the cellulose made in the 19th century rayon is also made but it is not so cellulose was the first plastic which was discovered in 19th century then first next one is this prevents the surface uh, the surface on which is applied from rotting paint paint prevents the surface on which it is applied from rotting and decorates it so we paint a surface to protect it from rusting next give true and false the english education spread by the britishers widens the gap between west and indian culture so what did the english education do did it make reduce the gap or it increased the gap so here it is written that it increased the gap so it is false it did not increase it reduced the gap then forests are cleared in large numbers due to their commercial value as it provides teak and sandal so this is correct 
they are used for their wood then next one example of natural fibers are acetate and triacetate they are natural fibers they are found in the soaps and all oil paints are powder with only drops of oil or resin in water oil and resin so this is correct oil paints are only powder and they are mixed in either oil and this detergents are also used as emulsifier in many this is correct we have to add it in some uh, places where you want the uh, where you want the fat to break so detergent does the work of emulsifying means breaking the fat so these are the fill in the blanks and question answers and there are some definitions of in this topic they are given towards the end of the chapter uh, end of the book in at the end so from here you will see that there are some names which will be used in this chapter so you have to find the words which are in chapter and learn them so rest is done now we will do the next chapter in the next class if you have any doubt or any suggestion type below this video and stay connected with us for more learning see you in the next class